Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video I have some really cool smart doll jewelry from Kit and Cat Shop and it is going to be earrings and a belly button ring like a belly button jewel and I'm really excited to show this to you guys. Um, they are no holes. You do not have to put holes in the dolls. It is completely magnetic and I'm really excited about it. I had in mind to put it on Fortitude because Fortitude is kind of like my glam girl and I just you know get that sense that you know I want to do earrings for her so I've read carefully through the installation instructions and I'm going to follow those to the best of my ability and I'm going to get them put into her first and we're going to put the sapphire um, earrings into her and so what it is is you have an installation kit and then you can order additional earrings to go with that so really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the installation kit in and show you guys but then I have these large um, disc earrings that I really like for her because like I said she's kind of my glam girl so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to remove her head because we will have to remove her head for this process remove her wig and then I'm going to remove her head cap. If you have difficulty doing that, you can use a hair dryer to kind of soften it up a little bit. So I want to show you guys how these are packaged. We've got this nice tin um, container that is really good for storing the things. And so they come, you've got um, the two birthstone earrings. So this is the installation kit and you've got a little belly button jewel. And on the back, we've got our three magnets stuck on with tack. Also in the container, we've got more tack and an extra magnet. And this extra magnet I'm gonna show you guys is really good for, I'm gonna put it in the lid here. We can put our earrings there while we're, um, if we're not using them or while we're installing the backside of the magnet. So that's really nice um, that they've thought about everything pretty much. All right, so I've read their installation instructions and I've kind of tried to play around with it and I, I can't quite manage it. I don't know if it's because I'm so clumsy, but I'm gonna show you guys the way I'm gonna put these in. So you can, um, whatever method works best for you, you know, this because you're not putting a hole in your doll, you know, I feel like it's really, um, it's really kind of up to you. So I'm gonna get some extra tack on here so that we can really securely hold this magnet in place. And the smart doll, the inside of the smart doll's head is molded or sculpted so that you can actually see here, and it's hard in this light box to show you, but you can see the inner sculpting of the ear inside the head cap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my magnet right about the bottom of the, the ear sculpting here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the earring on and let's see how well I have matched it up. And so, let's see. Oh, I've got the magnet backwards. Could you see how this keeps going backwards? So if you put it in backwards, just pull it out and then you wanna flip your magnet around. I'll just flip this around actually. And so I'll put that in because you, you know the poles have to be opposite. So you wanna make sure that you have it to the correct side that your jewel's actually going to show. And so you can see it's popping back up to the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna carefully move it inside the head. I'm just gonna slide the blue tack and you can see how the jewel is kind of sliding with it. You see that? Perfect. And now I've got it inside and it is installed and it's pretty secure um, as far as in there so now I've got that jewel on and it's gonna because it's a magnet you know that it does have the potential to slide around but that's perfect so now let's do the other one so I'm gonna do the same thing I've got um, some this here but I'm gonna put some extra blue tack on um, just to make sure we hold it securely in place and keep in mind uh, we want this side of the magnet facing um, out I think let's see now this ear is underneath the sticker I don't want to remove the sticker but I can kind of make it out there so I'm just gonna stick it there and let's see if this other earring yep perfect now it's up a little far again so I'm just gonna kind of slide it with the tack down that was a little too far you see how it jumped oh no 
that's that's fine well let me slide it up a little bit more so just it's kind of cool to watch it move as you slide it around in there so now she has got the sapphire blue earrings installed but what I really want her to wear are the glam earrings and I'm going to show you guys that in just a minute but before we reassemble her let's put the belly ring in as well so the belly ring is this little crystal um little clear crystal thing here so what I'm going to do to install that is I'm going to remove her arms and this jacket is really nice for arm removal because you don't have to undress her I can just remove the arms with the jacket and we'll just put it back on later same thing with the bust and the bikini I can just remove the bust with the bikini on and I don't have to do anything there so the process for installing on the belly button now this is a narrower hole and it's a little further down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back the spine as far as I can I'm going to add a little extra of the tack that they included they included plenty of tack so that's really nice I'm going to add this extra tack on the back and then I'm going to try my best to just kind of get it there in her belly button. If you look, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is an indentation in there. You can kind of see it. I don't think the light's good enough for you guys to see it here, but the way the vinyl is molded, you can pretty much make out where that's going to be. So I'm just going to put it down there um, and then let's put this on and see how close it is. Oh look at that that was a lucky shot because that's right in her belly button how do you like that i might slide it just a little bit over there we go wait back this way and as you slide it you can see it move around in there so that is super cute and now that's in there really good with the tack so now i'm going to reassemble her and then we're going to look at how she looks um, with the earrings i'm going to show you how the earrings can be swapped out okay so i have her reassembled now but i want her to wear these earrings because like i said she's a little bit more glam so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the magnet pad that they sent and i'm going to store her sapphire earrings on that i just dropped one of them there it is and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put these glam the more glam the big discs on her earrings on her ears there we go there's one and to, and I just really love this super glam look for her. She is so cute. I love those earrings. And this is a really great thing for, you don't have to put a hole in your smart doll. You don't have to pierce anything and it's gonna hold on great. So now that we've done her, let's give Singularity some earrings. Okay, Singularity is up next and I want to give her the amethyst colored earrings. I think that's going to look really cute for her because she kind of has like, I mean, she already has like an amethyst sort of makeup on. And so I just want to give her that like purple glow. Now I've already kind of played around with this kit some, just trying to learn how the kit works and whatnot. So I'm going to do the same thing with her. I'm going to give her the earrings. I'm not going to give her the belly ring right now because her midriff is not showing, but I will do that in the future like if she's wearing a bikini or whatever and we want to do some shots for that so for right now I'm just going to do her earrings just look really good on her that color really suits her very very well and the magnets are really strong so I mean you can you can you know if you're changing her clothes and stuff they might pop off but i feel like you know if you're just outside taking pictures um i would be careful but they're strong enough that they are holding through that vinyl so that's really awesome and again that color is very complementary to the face-up colors of singularity on her um so it looks really good with her makeup that color so check that out that's really gorgeous I love that. All right, the last one I wanna try is a mini Dolphy Dream because these are made for Smart Doll, but I feel like it's gonna work for a mini Dolphy Dream as well um, as far as the earrings go. So I'm going to, I'm not gonna do the belly ring on mini Dolphy Dream because she never wears anything that bears her mid drift. Um, I'm sure it would probably work the same as well, but I'm just gonna do the earrings for her. And so 
I'm going to use the rose earrings for her. So they're gonna be a pink color. And let's just go through the same process. Minnie Dolphy's Dream's head is pretty much the same size as a smart doll head. So it's gonna be like exactly the same sort of process here. And you can see also inside of them, you can see where the ear molds are. So I'm gonna do that, that same method again, just using where the ear molds are to kind of help me position the magnet inside. Um, because for me, that's just easiest. So let's see. I get a little bit of extra blue tack here and pull the magnet from the back. Oh, that pulled the, <laughs> it pulled the magnet, I pulled the little thing off the front too. All right, so let's see. Making sure we're gonna get our poles right and I'm gonna stick that kind of on where that ear is and let's see if how close I was. So that's a little too far up. So we're just gonna do the same thing again. I'm just gonna kind of push it down. Um, let's see, push that magnet. Down. There it goes. So I was able to push it down. It's still not exactly where I want it to be. So I can just kind of, there we go. I like that. So you just kind of push it around inside until it gets into the position that you want. So now let's do the other earring. And again, I'm not gonna do the, um, I'm not gonna do the belly ring with her um, just cause she never shows her midriff off, but I think it would still work. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna put it with the ear. There we go. And then let's put the earring on. And that one's a little too low this time. So all I gotta do is just kind of find that magnet and just slide it, slide it up a little bit until I get it. Is that where I want it? Just a little bit this way. That's a little too far. There we go. So you can really just play around with it. Once you get that blue tack in there, you just play around until you get it in the position that you want. That's what's so great about this is you're not piercing anything. So you can continue to change things and adjust them and move them around the way you want without actually doing any damages to your doll. I think that's fantastic. I love the, these kits. I love the, um, I love how they've got a lot of very cute designs in the shop and I love how easy it is to just, you know, do this and you're not, once again, you're not damaging your dolls at all. You're just, it's magnetic and it's tack and that's the same way the eyes are put in so you know you're not damaging your dolls. But anyway guys, I love these. I think they're really great. I'm going to link to Kit and Cat shop below and you can see their, um, their, their web address here but I'm also going to link it in the video description so you guys can check it out. All right guys so I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will link their shop in the video description below so definitely check them out. I think these are awesome. Now just for your FYI I did try them in my Twiggling Gamine. I tried them in my Mini Fee Chloe and I tried them in my Feeple Celine. They kind of work for the mini fee Chloe, but the magnet, the resin is so thick on those dolls' heads that it doesn't, it's not a real strong bond. And so I wouldn't feel comfortable leaving it in there for very long, maybe for a short photo session, where with the smart dolls, the, the, the magnet bond is much better through the vinyl. So, you know, it works better for that. If, you, if I have a doll in my collection that you guys would like me to try these earrings on, please let me know and I'll give it a try so you guys can see if they'll work for your dolls as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Be sure, like I said, to check out Kit and Cat shop. The link is in the video description below and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Jenny C, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Angela E, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, and Kelly L. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. To find out how you can help support this channel, be sure to check the link in the description of this video. Thank you.